you're into Pokemon cards or even just collectibles in general, well, this video may trigger you. In fact, if you're not triggered by what I'm about to do, well, then there's probably something wrong with you. Today we're gonna find out how easy it is to scratch the hollow part of a Pokemon card. On one hand, you have people like this. And on the other hand, you have people like this. Does it scratch when I touch it with my finger? Does it scratch when I pull it out of a sleeve? What about when it rubs against another card in front of it? And does a holographic card scratch inside of one of these? In a previous video, I built a machine to shake cards consistently to see if they would take any damage. And yeah, we did see some damage. But lots of you said that they would have scratched if they were hollows. Unfortunately, they weren't. But this one is and also this one, which is the one we're actually gonna test. Let's find some answers. I'm scratching my cards so you don't have to. And of course, for science. Yes, science! All right, so this is how it's gonna go down. We've got some chancy holographic rares from Evolutions. These have the clearest looking hollows, so it's gonna be easier to see what happens. I'm so sorry, chancy. These chancies are also notorious for having a lot of print lines, like a lot. I mean, already I can see two, here and here. But we're not looking at print lines. We're looking at different kinds of holographic damage. And this first one will be used for a touch test. That means, does touching the hollow do anything to it? Like, just touching it. Next, we've got the finger and nail test. With poor handling of your cards, maybe you move your finger across the hollow. Does that scratch the card? A fingernail, especially if you've got long nails or acrylics or whatever. How careful should you be? Then we've got, this is an interesting one, the card on card card test. We'll be putting Chansey behind a card, and then sort of like if you're opening a pack, how does rubbing another card across the hollow affect it, if at all? Then we have the sleeve test. Obviously a sleeve is meant to protect your cards, but could a sleeve actually scratch or damage a hollow? If there was pressure on the hollow and then you remove the card from the sleeve, does it do anything? Well, we're gonna find out. And then of course, we're gonna be testing the graded slabs. One PSA 8 graded Chansey and one CGC 8 graded Chansey. Again, Chansey, thank you for your sacrifice. Of course, the slab does a good job of protecting the cards in general. That's what kind of they're meant for. But can the slab, if it's shaken a bunch of times, scratch the hollow? Like imagine it in a delivery truck that gets kind of bumpy. Could that scratch the hollow? Well, we're gonna find out. Hit that like button for science and let's begin. It's a science experiment. Touch test. Really, really nice shine on these chancy hollows as you can see, but in the right light, the glare reveals, yep, print line here and here near the bottom. Upper left is what looks like someone else's fingerprint, just kind of poor in general. But let's see what happens here in this upper right-hand corner if we were to just press the thumb on the hollow portion. Let's do it again on the bottom. And although it looks okay in the right light, there, my thumbprint, right on Chansey's, well, let's call them tufts of hair, whatever they are. Uh, definitely was not there before. And of course, our fingers have oils. You definitely don't want to be touching cards like this. Looks like it also clouds the hollow a bit, but it doesn't really scratch it, it seems. Let's try touching this a bunch of times, 10 times in the same spot to see if anything happens. And as expected, more oils, uh, just cloudier holographic, it seems. Um, it loses a bit of that shine, but no real scratching per se. Let's put this one back. Thank you, Chansey. Next, the finger and nail test. Maybe you're handling these poorly. You happen to rubber scrape your finger along the hollow. How sensitive is the hollow? Well, let's take a look at it before. All right, a couple of print lines here and here. Okay, actually, this looks pretty good otherwise, to be honest. Checking different angles with the lighting, way better than the last Chansey we just looked at for now. Okay, the upper corner, that's what we're gonna focus on. I'm gonna put this Chansey down on the play mat and then one swipe with the finger up and down Let's take a look and yo, clear vertical markings of some kind right over in this area. And then what looks like to be a fingerprint here below the print line at the bottom, that's just one finger swipe. Ooh, even clearer dark lines there. Definitely a bit more than just surface oil at play here. Mm, that's insane. Let's let's use the finger a bit more. Wow, it, it looks like a crosshatch pattern at this point. Some surface abrasions, as you can see, plus a fatty fingerprint. At least you're still smiling, Chansey. You can see how it affects the shine of the hollow, the oils in the finger, again, not helping here. Again, this is why we use sleeves, people, but still, can the sleeve damage the card? Well, we'll see. But first, we've got the fingernail test. What I'm gonna do is just put Chansey down again, lightly bring my finger and nail over the edge of the card, barely touching it, and whoa, whoa. 
That was not much pressure at all. And pay attention to how the line perfectly scratches from the edge of the hollow to the other edge of the hollow. I couldn't have done that perfectly. The other parts of the card have an indentation too, but yeah, the hollow part is definitely more sensitive and I barely touched that. Okay, let's try this again with the nail, just lightly brushing it. Yep, there it is again. Light marking across the diagonal there. So yeah, very sensitive and any sort of pressure with a hard edge, uh, you're kind of doomed. Next test, we have the card on card test. I've got a card right here in this sleeve that we're gonna use, a fire energy. Let's put that down first and let's take a look at this Chansey. Major print line up there near the top. This almost had a full segment of hollow without the lines, you can see. Oh, never mind. We've got a clear line in the middle, as you can see, just needed the right lighting. Okay, a couple more vertical print lines here and here. No scratches though, it looks pretty clean like the last one did. Let's pop that fire energy on top and we're gonna pretend like we're, uh, like we just did the pack trick. We reveal the rare, a hollow Chansey, nice pull, yay. Okay, anyway, zooming in. I do see some lines, but they may have been there before. Let's go back, look at the before and see if those lines were there. Okay, yeah, those lines were there in the upper right-hand corner, right above the tufts, um, but that's just lighting and imperfections in the car that were already there. I don't wanna pretend like it did damage when it didn't, but okay, so one swipe is, is, is gonna be okay potentially, but let's try something. I'm gonna put the fire energy back on top and then rub the fire energy on top just a little bit more. This might simulate stacking the cards together if there's a lot of weight on it or you're rubbing them with your fingers, organizing them, for example, and yep, there's clearly some new lines that were not there before. Actual scratches here and here. Here's the thing, any sort of dust or a, a single speck or grain of sand, right? When sandwiched in there could easily, easily damage the card. Let's do that one more time with the energy a little bit more forceful and okay. Uh, Chansey is trying to grow a few more hairs there. It looks like that's crazy. That was, you know, this was the second time I put this energy down. It might've been a speck of dust or something when I picked it back up and, and did this. That is crazy. That is crazy. I'm thinking in the future, you know, especially if I'm opening up something like base set or, or an older generation set with hollows like this, I don't think I'm gonna slide the card before the rare anymore. Like I wanna, I wanna lift it off, I would say, right? The slide will make you cry. The lift is the gift. I don't know, I'm just trying to make up something to remember. Lift it, not swift it. Okay, I'm done. Next up, we have the sleeve test. Like I said, sleeves are meant to protect. So why are we even testing this? Well, I have a hypothesis about the way we handle these sleeves. And there's a right way to do it, obviously, and there's a wrong way to do it. So let's take a look at this Chansey. Boom, boom, print lines. Although that one in the middle just looks like a scratch since it's kind of on a diagonal. Whoa, another print line there on the left and one above Chansey's head. Surface level looks pretty okay in this lighting. We got a lot of scratches here and to the right of Chansey's head. Just keep that in mind. We're looking at this before so we know what's new and not. We're gonna pop it back into the sleeve and we're gonna take it in and out a few times, just like in a normal way. And as you'd expect, nothing crazy happening here. Right, all the same scratches and lines that we saw before because the sleeve part didn't really touch the hollow at all. And if the hollow is touching, it's usually just chilling somewhere. But what if like, and I've actually seen some people do this before. You, you sort of grab the card here on the hollow, not toward the bottom, but on the hollow itself with just enough pressure to hold the card. And then when you slide the card out, what happens? Watch this. Let's give it a couple more. And mm, see that at the bottom? Boom, right there, clear. Vertical lines from the sleeve with just a little bit of pressure, just a tiny bit. We see these sort of abrasions and, and they're bad. Yo, and this was a clean sleeve too, fresh out of a pack. And look at the damage the sleeve did to the holographic. That is insane right there. And in the right light, it definitely comes through. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time and just go crazy. We're gonna see what happens. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, let, let's get the right lighting. This is just bad. It actually goes beyond the scratching. It seems to now take a like a layer off of the hollow and just blurs it at this point too. That is crazy. And can you see just how important the lighting is? And imagine all the hollows being sold on eBay right now with the right light to hide all of its potential imperfections. So be careful y'all for hollows, especially expensive ones. You know, I'm like, you probably wanna see them in person, you know, in ideal conditions and under various lighting and angles, to be honest. All right, so that's part one, testing raw holographic cards. Let me know in the comments what was surprising to you, what do you think so far, but don't leave yet, because we got some unanswered questions that we must answer today, which is, does shaking these graded cards scratch the hollow on the inside? Let's find out. It's time to bring out our old friend, the Slab Shaker 3000. 
First up, the PSA 8 Chansey Hollow. And as expected, a print line right there. And okay, here I can see a vertical line. Then moving on, let's see if we can find the right lighting there. Wow, that actually looks like a scratch. That's that's pretty bad, but you know, outside of that, the surface of the hollow looks pretty okay. So let's pop the Chansey in here. And usually I would put this top piece on to keep things steady, but this would totally scratch the plastic part. So I'm gonna use this painter's tape and tape it right here to the bottom. And when I turn this on, I'm gonna just keep my finger on here for stability and just let it slide underneath. And uh, we'll go for 10 minutes. Ready, here we go in three, two, and one. All right, Chansey, let's see what you got. Let's zoom in. Whoa, are, are you seeing that? We have some scratches over here on the left-hand side. We see that same vertical line that was near Chansey's tuft, but there seems to be some new ones. Let's, let's compare it to the before picture. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I wouldn't expect the scratches to be that length, right? It's it's not moving that much up and down. I want to get this right because, you know, I don't want to get rattled, if you know what I'm saying. I feel like that's on the plastic. I don't know. We'll have to see later. I'm going to test these cards face down too, but I'm not convinced yet. We'll, we'll put that aside. For now, let's take a look at the CGC Chansey 8. And if this is correct, this should be in a little better condition since CGC grades a little bit more harsh than PSA. Yeah, okay. This one actually looks really nice. Print line right there and kind of looks like a faint, faint line there on, on the left and even some lines over here near the tough. But yeah, really nice hollow here. So you know how this works by now. Let's pop it in, tape it up, and five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's see. All right, I'm seeing a lot of, <laughs> of fingerprints. Uh, that's one of the things I've noticed about these cases. They're they're really gorgeous. They're very clear, but they fingerprint like crazy. Let's let's wipe those off. Even chancy a little buff treatment. All right, here we go. I'm seeing some new lines, but again, I, I think it's on the plastic actually, like right here. You can see the same lines twice, right? It looks like one on the plastic and the other is like a shadow or or, or a, like a almost like a reflection on the hollow. Yeah, you know what? Uh, you can see it real good right here. <sighs> You know what this means? I think we're gonna have to crack these open. Uh, we have to, right? I mean, to check the card and, and just to make sure. Uh, so if this video wasn't triggering enough already, it's gonna go one more level of trigger right after this. But first, we're gonna go face down on each of these cards for 10 minutes each. The idea being that now that the hollow is face down, it'll be more likely to touch the plastic if it, if it could, you know, because of gravity. Uh, this is definitely gonna scratch the plastic when we do this though, so we'll see what happens after we crack these open. All right, PSA Chansey in three, two, and one. All right, next up we got the CGC face down, taped up, and three, two, one. All right, the CGC Chansey is now done. We've got the PSA card ready to reveal two. Let's take a look at the CGC again. And you know, it's gonna be hard to trust anything we see here because you know, the scratches and stuff. And again, you can see those long scratches on the plastic and how there's actually uh, that reflection uh, which is actually a good sign because that would mean there's some distance, right, between the plastic and the card. So there should technically not be touching, but that's hypothetical. Let's look at the PSA card. Yeah, I mean, you can see a whole bunch of lines here, even across the Chansey itself. And, and these are new lines, but I think they are on the plastic. And yes, yeah, some fingerprints. See these lines right here? That, again, I think is on the plastic, which means we only got one thing left to do. Let's push this aside and... Boom! The Slab Cracker is superior. This is actually a PVC pipe cutter, but today it's the Chansey Extractor for Truth About Holographic Cards tool thingy. If you're not comfortable with this, you might want to look away for this one. All right, we got it out. A little bit of a struggle. The CGC Chansey reveal. Here we go. That giant line to the left of Chansey is now gone. Uh, that was definitely a scratch on the outside of the slab. I'm not seeing any weird abrasions or, or you know abnormalities just those print lines of course right I was, I'm looking for cloudiness or, or blurriness let's see if we can get the right lighting to see if it actually is cloudy or not yeah that actually looks really really good so I think CGC Chansey I'm pretty sure you passed the test at least from my naked eye and what people can see in the camera all right next up the PSA 8 Chansey let's get a Kraken oh oh no that's okay that's not good yikes um 
All right, let me work to see if I can get this out as safely as possible. Okay, uh, that could have been bad. What am I talking about? Look at this table, this is bad. Oh man, science isn't always pretty though when you're looking for answers. All right, turning it around and, all right, I, I see the same lines that were there before so far. Wow. Okay, this view right here that, that I'm paused on, wow, is definitely the most suspect here, right? Let, let me tell you what I'm seeing. I see this line, which looks new to me. That is obviously on the card and that I don't believe was there before. That seems a bit odd. And you know, maybe that happened while uncracking this thing. Uh, I should have done it more carefully, but again, that's not the damage I would expect. Uh, this over here though, all along the right hand side, like just in the right lighting, I'm seeing this sort of scuffing, this like not really sandpaper, but kind of, right? Am I just seeing that? Are you seeing this? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below if you're seeing something I'm not. And yes, I realize this is a hollow bleed, Chansey. I, I saw that finally, which makes me so sad. But but do you see this? I don't know. I don't I don't know. I, f I feel like this warrants now further investigation because I mean, all in all, we we shook this thing more than it would ever likely be shooken in its lifetime, like a thousand times. We took this to the extreme, which is not normal. But because it is showing damage, that means it could happen. So we, we might need to revisit this again, because honestly, I didn't think we would even show any signs at all. So wow. Um, yeah, where do you think we should go from here? Let me know in the comment section and let me know what else you want me to test.